This is the Noctua NH-U12S Chromas Black Edition and it is one of the CPU coolers we've been waiting for years to show up. It is almost the same as the regular NH-U12 but it has one major change, the Chromas Black color scheme. In this review we are going to see how it performs and more importantly how it looks inside a modern day gaming system. Watch the rest of the video to find out. Starting with the basics, the cooler has a single tower design which is fairly common among air CPU coolers. Keep in mind that dual tower CPU coolers are often into the high end segment of the market. Anyway, this particular cooler also uses high quality materials in its construction to be not only strong and reliable in the long run but also to perform as best as it can. A thing which brings me to build quality and this is a reoccurring theme with all Noctua products. But the build quality is absolutely superb. The edges of the fins are smoothed out so you can scratch or cut yourself in them and the coating that covers all the components of the heatsink is uniform and also has the same shade of black on different materials, a thing which most can't or don't bother to do. The NH-U12S Chromas Black Edition uses a total of 5 heat pipes, each with a diameter of 6mm, which are also made out of nickel plated copper that also, again, has the same matte black coating applied all over it. The endings of these heat pipes are not even, but this is a thing on most if not all CPU coolers that do not use some sort of cap over the heat pipe endings. On the opposite side, these 5 heat pipes make direct contact with the base plate of the CPU cooler but are also covered by the base plate itself and an additional plate. Speaking of the base plate of this cooler, it is made from nickel plated copper just like the previously mentioned 5 heat pipes. The surface of the base is very smooth and the reflection is almost mirror like. Nevertheless, this space should have no problem with the even spread of the thermal compound over the CPU surface. As a quick note, the round lines that you see on the base plate surface are left from the manufacturing process. However, they are made in such a way that it will not have an impact on performance or the spread of the thermal compound and I dare to say that these lines do give the base plate a better overall look. The fan used with the NH-U12S Chromas Black Edition is the Noctua NF-F12 PWM also part of the Chromas Black Edition, a fan that has already a great reputation for good static pressure and noise. This fan also has a minimum speed of 300 RPM and a maximum speed of 1500 RPM. That is of course if you don't use it with the included low noise adapter which will lower the maximum speed to just 1200 RPM. The fan also uses rubber pads on all four corners and on both sides of each corner to prevent any vibrations from being passed on into the heatsink and thus on your motherboard and case. The cable itself is sleeved using the standard Noctua rubber sleeving and uses a 4 pin Molex connector for power which is also PWM compatible as always. Before we get into the testing of this cooler, let's take a look at what is included with the Noctua NH-U12S and we start with the user manual which is available in multiple printed languages. Then there is the now classic Noctua metal case badge, a single tube of NH-H1 high grade thermal compound, one low noise adapter as previously mentioned, a metal Phillips screwdriver, two metal fan clips which are also painted black, nice touch here Noctua, then you have four extra all black anti-vibration pads and the components for the secure firm 2 mounting system which have no need to be mentioned individually. The complete accessory bundle is also not only listed but presented on the front side of the box that contains all the accessories so you can make sure that you are not missing anything but also to have a neat way to organize them when installing the cooler in your system. Once the cooler is installed on the motherboard and over the CPU you get to see just how much space the NH-U12S Chroma Black offers you especially for RAM and the VRM heatsinks of the boards. While the fan is lower than the medium and tall heatsink RAM modules, it is positioned so far back that it will not interfere with the RAM slots of your motherboard. This can also be said about the back of the cooler which has plenty of space for one additional fan and thus be used in a push-pull configuration. With the extra metallic fan clips you already have included in the package. And now we can get into the performance of this cooler and we start with a noise test that will not only show a decibel value as per usual but I will show you the actual sound that this cooler makes with the included fan running at its maximum speed of 1500 rpm. So here it is. The 
The actual sound reached by the Noctua NH-U12S Chroma's Black Edition is 39 decibels, measured at 10 cm away from the system with the side panel removed. In the graphs there are also other values included, with the noise measured at 20 and 30 cm away from the cooler, to give you a better idea of the real-world performance and noise of this cooler, and what to expect from it. The performance testing has been changed a bit since our last CPU cooler review, mainly because I have a new platform now, and also because I want to offer you a better idea of how these CPU coolers perform. We start our testing with this cooler mounted on an Intel i9-9900K CPU that is manually overclocked to 5GHz. The benchmark used to heat up the CPU and CPU cooler is Intel Burntest V2. This will give us a temperature result that is very close to what you can get when gaming with this CPU cooler. And in this test, the NH-U12S Chroma's Black Edition reached a temperature of 61 degrees Celsius, with an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius. Not bad so far, but now let's move it into higher gear and use the real thermal bench testing, which is the FPU stability test found on AIDA64 Extreme software. And here is where the big coolers are separated from the smaller coolers, as the NH-U12S Chroma's Black Edition reached an average temperature of 87 degrees Celsius with the same 26 degrees ambient temperature. Still a good result as this single tower CPU cooler is paired with a 5GHz running i9-9900K CPU. The Noctua NH-U12S Chroma's Black is just great. The cooling performance is good, especially for a single tower CPU cooler that only has one fan that spins at a decent RPM. The build quality is fantastic, it is in fact very close to the level of the Noctua NH-D15 build quality. The new Chroma's Black color scheme is what we wanted for a long time from Noctua, and they really did deliver it, in their own characteristic way, of everything being the best that it can be, and I am talking about, of course, the quality of the black paint that is coating most of the cooler and the attention to the details, starting with those black metallic fan clips and the included extra all black rubber pads for a second fan. The Noctua Secure Firm 2 mounting system is one of the easiest to install, as it has so few parts to handle and is also easy to figure out, even without looking at the manual that is included. Of course, one downside of this cooler is the price. At $69.99, US dollars, it is not exactly a cheap cooler, but it is good value for what we get in terms of the overall package. This cooler is ideal if you want to have good cooling performance and also you want a cooler that will not completely cover your motherboard and RAM slots. And an extra feature is of course the Chroma's black color combination that will match any system you can imagine. If you liked this review, then perhaps you can consider subscribing for more similar reviews and projects. And also, if you want to support me directly, in the description you will find both my Patreon page as well as my subscriber star page. Until the next video, happy holidays!